Hey everyone, this is Tim. I hope you're doing well. I'm in isolation on my patio, but enjoying a beautiful day. But I've got a new toy and I can't wait to show you. I bought a new walk, uh, pretty good deal, $22, and that's Canadian, so it's like uh, $10, $15 US. Uh, carbon steel, all seasoned, and I can't wait to start cooking in it. I used to work in restaurants when I was really young, and my favorite dishes of all time are spring rolls. So I can't wait to show you my three all-time favorite spring rolls, one that I used to make, and I used to make tens of thousands of these things. And these are the Chinese uh, chicken and shiitake mushroom spring rolls with a nice gravy and crispy on the outside. My other favorite is a Filipino style of spring roll called lumpia or lumpia shanghai. And they're long sticks of crispy, meaty goodness. And my all-time favorite are the Vietnamese spring roll uh, with a nice meaty pate-like filling and a crispy rice wrapper on the outside. Really tasty. So I'm gonna make a large batch of spring rolls and share them with some friends and uh, see which one they like. And thank you for joining and this is a nice way to share together remotely. I can't wait to start wrapping and walking. So without further ado, let's start with the Chinese spring roll. So it's a beautiful day and I thought I'd do the cooking outside since the walk's outside. So the ingredients are pretty straightforward. We've got some shiitake mushrooms. They come dry, so before I soak them in hot water for a few hours, slice them up, and this is what you get. Some bamboo shoots, some chicken cut into strips, and we've got some egg white and corn flour to velvet the chicken, uh, salt and pepper, and then to make the nice gravy, we've got the oyster sauce, the dark and light soy sauce and we also kept the liquid that we used to saturate the, the mushrooms in and that's going to add a nice flavor to the gravy and we'll just marinate the chicken a little bit of pepper lots of pepper some salt we're going to throw a little bit of egg white in there and then some corn flour and then we'll just mix it up put a little bit of soy sauce in here as well and that's it. Uh, we're just gonna mix this up and let it rest for about five, 10 minutes. And in the meantime, we can uh, heat up the wok to start cooking the filling. All right, so I've washed the wok with soapy water and it's all clean. I think let's light the fire. There we go. Okay, the wok is super hot. Let's throw a little bit of oil, swish it around. Chicken goes in. Turned up the heat a little bit there. All right, so chicken's almost done. All right, and we'll throw in the shiitake mushrooms and then the bamboo shoots. Give that a mix. A little bit of soy sauce. This is dark soy sauce. A bit of light soy sauce, about a tablespoon. And then some oyster sauce. And then we have the liquid we use to hydrate the mushrooms. And we'll use this as a gravy. All right, and this is just a cornstarch slurry. So once we put it in, it thickens on contact. We'll put a little bit in. So it's getting thick already. And we're gonna make this extra thick. So put a little bit more in. So it's almost like a gloop. And when it's saucy and gloopy like that, that's perfect. So our filling is done and all it needs to do is cool down and then we can start wrapping. So it's been a little while and the filling has cooled down and it's cooled into a very gloopy tight consistency. And that's what exactly what we want. And we've got our spring rolls as well, our spring roll wrappers as well, and we're ready to assemble. So pretty straightforward. We'll peel one back, and we'll 
put it on a diagonal. Tablespoon of filling right over here. And all we do is start rolling. Try to roll it tight. Halfway through, tuck in the corners. And we've got some flour paste here. Use that as glue. And that's it. One spring roll done, many, many more to go. So I'm just gonna continue rolling these up and I'll take you back when we're ready to fry and eat. So a lot of wrapping with the Chinese style spring rolls and I think we're ready to fry them up. Let's start up the stove. We'll wait for the wok to heat up. So it looks like the oil's getting hot and we'll test it with a pair of chopsticks. Let's throw a few in. All right, it looks like they're ready to go. Throw them on the rack. Okay, so we've got our testers. We'll cut into it. Oh, very crispy. Mmm, very nice. Really crispy outside and a nice filling with the shiitake mushrooms and that nice gravy on the inside. That was very good and that was a nice break. And let me set up for the Filipino lumpia spring roll. So we've got the, uh, all the ingredients laid out for the Lumpia Shanghai, the Filipino spring rolls. And this is one of the easiest spring rolls to do. All we have is some pork, some uh, onions and carrots, and then uh, some fish sauce for seasoning and salt and pepper. And I like it a little spicy, so I finely diced up some serrano peppers. I'll throw that in there. Some fish sauce. Oh, probably a good two or three tablespoons full. A little bit of salt and then a lot of ground pepper just a little bit of sugar to round out the flavors and now we just mix this up so normally I'd just be using my hands make sure they're clean but with the uh, situation right now notice I've got quite a few gloves lying around let's give that a mix so you need you do need to mix this and knead it a little bit to make sure that the meat holds together So with the filling all made, we're ready to start wrapping again. So I've got my lumpia wrappers here, and these are especially made for lumpia, uh, wheat and coconut, and they fry up extra light and crispy. Let's use one of these. So these are quite easy to do, and we're gonna make them long and thin. So a spoonful of filling, put that right in here. Using our clean hands, we're gonna stretch this out all the way to the end and then we roll and give it a little tuck inside so it's nice and tight. And once you get to the middle of the circle, give it a little tuck. Pinch the ends and roll from the ends. A little bit of uh, flour and water. First spring roll done, many more to go. So that was a lot of wrapping for the lumpia. And now the oil is hot and let's give it a fry and a taste. And as you can see again, the texture is quite light and crispy. So I'm just gonna cut into it. Ooh, look at that. Let's give it a try. Mmm, they're thin and light and has a nice crispness to it. Really glad to put a little bit of the serrano peppers in there, a little bit spicy. So a really nice, long, thin, 
uh, crispy stick of uh, meaty goodness. Cheers. Mm. So that was a nice taster. I can't wait for the friends to try and see which one they like the best. But before I get full munching on these testers, I better get ready for my favorite spring roll of all time, the Vietnamese spring roll. And they require a little bit of work. So let me get everything prepped up. Here are the ingredients for the Vietnamese spring rolls. The pork, uh, some eggs to bind it together, uh, some carrots, some shallots. And the key thing is to keep it dry. So we've got some vermicelli noodles. These come dry and I soak them in water, hot water, for a few minutes. And the key thing is to make sure you rinse them out and keep everything as dry as possible. Uh, and then we've got some wood ear mushrooms. Again, they come in dry and they look like this. And you soak them in water and then you chop them up finely. And let's start mixing everything together. So we've got about three pounds of pork and we'll put in an egg per pound. Mix that in there. And the best way to mix it is with your hands. So I'm gonna don the gloves. All right, so we've got the eggs. We'll throw in the vermicelli, woodier mushrooms, the shallots, and the carrots. A lot of fish sauce. Oh, about four or five tablespoons full. Some salt. Lots of black pepper. And a little bit of sugar to round out the flavors. And let's start mixing. So you do want to mix this and knead the meat a little bit so it becomes sticky like a pate. That's one of the eggs there. And the vermicelli noodles adds a nice texture to it. Okay, so everything looks mixed up and I think we're ready to go. Nice consistency and very colorful. So with the filling all set, we're ready to wrap with the rice wrappers. So these are kind of cool. And the key thing is to keep them as dry as possible. And what we need to do is hydrate them really slightly and then start wrapping again, keeping it dry. And in the dish, we'll put some, uh, my friend uh, Dieppe mentioned to make it crispy and make it brown. You put a little bit of sugar you're not going to taste it and then dissolve that in warm water okay. and I'm just going to lay a wet cloth on the working surface to make sure things don't dry out too much. So we take a wrapper, dip it in the water really quickly. Don't wait for it to soften up while it's still firm. Put it here and it's going to soften up in a few seconds spoonful of filling and that's perfect by the time you put your filling in it's soft enough to roll to get a tight seal halfway through you can wrap it up it's still a little hard which is okay we'll seal it up with a little bit of the glue and that's it first one done and we'll continue wrapping the rest of this and I'll take you back when we're ready to fry again all right, okay, so the, the Vietnamese spring rolls are ready to fry, and uh, these are a little bit tricky. They tend to stick, so we're gonna have to put one in at a time, but make sure you got lots of oil and make sure it's hot. Okay, so with the oil hot, I think we're ready to fry. I forgot to mention that the Vietnamese spring rolls, we actually had to let them sit out in the fridge for a little bit to let them uh, settle. Otherwise, they'll be hard to fry, they'll get sticky. So these has a tendency to stick, so when we put them in, we need to make sure that they're respecting their social distance from each other. Otherwise, bad things can happen. And after a while, they can, uh, they can stick as close together as they want to. Okay, so after a little while, they look nice and golden brown. Usually, what you can do is fry it at a lower temperature, just to do the first cooking. And then when you're ready to eat, just uh, flash fry them again or put them in an air fryer. All right, so that was a lot of frying and uh, I fried up a storm because I'm sharing with some friends and we'll see, uh, actually we'll ask them which one is better, but uh, I'm glad everything is done. Let me show you how much we fried up. 
a couple of bags that are complete. So it's a beautiful day today. Uh, just driving to some friends to drop off the spring rolls. Can't wait to see them. And guess who's on my passenger seat? We've got the spring rolls and they smell really good. I think I might sneak one out of Albert's bag later and check out who's in my back seat. Those are the uncooked spring rolls. So hopefully they can fry them up themselves. And we're just about to arrive. And I see we have Albert and Micheli right over there. All right, so we just arrived. Thank you so much for all your comments. Albert is now wearing a mask. A few of you commented he wasn't. And let me show you what we have. Okay, so we've got the raw spring rolls and then we've got the cooked. Now, Albert's gonna be missing one in his bag because I was a little hungry in the car. <laughs> so there we go. So really great to see everyone again. And finally, I can head home and uh, enjoy the food. All right, let's head back. Okay, so I'm back and it's really nice to see the friends. So I can't wait to dig in. Lots of spring rolls and lots left over. I think we need a nice glass of wine and I, one of my favorites in, the, in a hot weather like this is uh, uh, Vino Verde. So let me show you what we have. These are the Chinese spring rolls with chicken and shiitake mushrooms. And then these are the Vietnamese rolls. And then I forgot the sauce, which is just fish sauce, uh, sugar, carrots, a little bit of pepper. And then the lumpia Filipino spring roll. I'll try the Chinese spring roll first. Mm. It's like how I remembered after making tens or maybe hundreds of thousands of these things. So just as good. And we'll try the Vietnamese spring roll. We'll dip that in the sauce. Mmm, very crisp. Only thing we're missing is a little bit of lettuce to wrap this up in, but that's okay. Cheers. Mm. Thank you so much again for joining. So these are three of my favorites. I hope I could have shared them with you to figure out which one is your favorite. I like the Vietnamese spring roll. I think um, we've got some votes from the friends. Uh, they like the Chinese one with a little bit of gravy. And I think Albert and Micheli are more geared towards the lumpia since uh, it's kind of part of their Filipino heritage. So again, thank you so much. I hope you actually give it a try and let me know which one is your favorite. Um, but it's really cool to connect together. So uh, until we see each other again, I wish you good health and uh, stay safe. Cheers. Mm-hmm.